see that in 1955's movie, Love is a Many Splendor Thing is the first mention of the New Order. They just called it New Order, uh, and then later they called it New World Order. But I find it very ironic that it took place in a movie that took place in Hong Kong, why they would call it the New Order. In fact, I have a book by uh, Charles Finney, uh, the son of a missionary in China, where they were, uh, it was about the, the seven faces of Dr. Lo, same guy who wrote that fantastic movie, but this movie was all about the magician from Manchuria, how they were escaping the quote, unquote, new politicians. Now, I want you to see this part. Uh, this movie is, is excellent, and, I, and it's so strange how they change the voices and the the quality is bad, but it's an excellent movie with Jennifer Jones and William Holden. It takes place in 1955, right after uh, the 49 situation with Mao and how uh, William Holden plays a correspondent and he says that, you know, we go to wars that we don't understand that we're in. Nothing has changed, but you can understand why did they call this the New Order back then? Because this New Order the Committee of 300, like that John Coleman said, that they decided that there were too many people on planet Earth. So that's where you get, got them obsessing about how many people were in China, which is none of their business. These, these white men, it was none of their business how many people were in China. But they couldn't stand the fact that, the chi that they couldn't control the Chinese people and they can't control the American people. And yet the Americans were going from strength to strength. And Chinese people, if left un, uh, undisturbed and uh, untortured, they go from strength to strength and they help each other. In fact, America, if you look at um, the, the More the Merrier, that movie, um, uh, remember that they used to have a lot of Chinese laundries in America, and that was sort of like the stereotype. But it's really true. Like uh, the the Chinese presence in America really helped Americans uh, really get successful because uh, the, a lot of their food really was takeout Chinese food. The the Chinese were a major portion of their laundry services. Which if you don't uh, if you have a housewife, you you understand how cost saving it is to have your food made for you and your laundry done for you very clean and crisp sheets then you can work and and bang out that work you can research and develop you can face your day if you have clean clothes clean sheets and also good food healthy food and that's what the Chinese in America did in the 30s and 40s face it that's a fact it's, it's an unknown fact, but it's a fact. Now, that's why these Committee of 300 said, well, let's take down America, the middle class, because the American middle class is what's sustaining the too many population. For some reason, they're feeding the world. But then at the same time, they're also, how do you take down America as well? But you have to take out China to take out America, because the Chinese also help America with certain aspects of practicality and all that other stuff, all of the basics. So you see, this is how the new order happened. It's a very British thing. Okay. So you're willing to sacrifice your country and many men this is a, men to get... This is a bad Chinese doctor trying to convince her that she's bad for falling in love and not going back to China where everybody's getting shot and killed. Attachment to one man. Yes. A man who will not even marry you. Where's your prize, Su Yen? I will not allow you to make me feel small, selfish, or ashamed. Forget this man, Su Yen. It is a weakness unworthy of you. There's no longer any place in the world for weakness. Then there is no place for doctors, since our whole approach to weakness is sympathetic. But you feel as we do. I have watched you. You hate the, the poverty and the pain you see here. I hate it everywhere. But that doesn't make me a communist like you, Shen. It just makes me try to be a better doctor. China has been reborn, Su Yen. Our people are free at last. Then refugees pour into Hong Kong at the rate of 3,000 a day. As a man who believes in this new order, doesn't it disturb you that so many flee from freedom? You're no longer Chinese. You're not facing the truth. Look into the mirror and see yourself. Maybe that is the difference in our viewpoints, then. You look into the mirror and see truth reflected. But I think it is an illusion. For in the mirror, what is right is left. And what is left is right. Bingo! New order. 1955. Jennifer Jones, my girl.